How's it going? It's 220 Prepper and I got another video today. So today we have two unboxing videos, first uh, look videos. As you know, I'm doing, I'm doing the budget battle gear that doesn't suck. And um, it's basically just, you know, decent to good quality tactical gear, battle belts, chest rigs, etc., uh, etc. Cetera, et cetera, for money that, for what doesn't break the bank. Um, I will link in the description the full kit I did and the battle belt that I did. And now I'm trying to upgrade aspects of the battle belt. So what we have here is a product I am looking forward to and I'm very hopeful for. So open the right part. Okay, so we have a Gunflower Violent and Peaceful uh, Uni Pro Series. It's actually a very nice box, I'm not going to lie. Um, Yes, Gunflower has been or yes, Gunflower has been on my channel before. If you remember this video for a concealed carry holster, this is a universal. It's supposed to, you know, be able to fit like 80 some odd handguns, so that's always good. And quite frankly, the quality on this is pretty decent for a universal. I saw they had one a drop leg holster, so I decided to get that and they had a uh an outside the waistband so basically the outside the waistband and the drop leg are supposed to be able to attach to each other so hopefully it works this is a very nice box so dropping stuff all right um we've got the holster here which looks very nice serpa that's a negative for a lot of people i understand this came with it, an Allen wrench with screw set. No, know how well that's coming across. It's supposed to be able to fit, let's see here, user guide, diagrams, blah, blah, blah. Fits 100 plus pistol models. This one is compatible with red dots, which is good. Built-in adjustable retention and trigger guard locking button, which is the sort of holster. This is the uh, optimal, optional mounting attachments and a list of all the guns. This right here, that's the list of all the guns that's supposed to fit. It's over 100. It fits multiple Glock CZs. It fits a Colt 1911, five inch barrel. Uh, fits uh, Sky, CPX2, Six Hours, Smith & Wesson, Berettas, Walters, EAA, Taurus, Springfield, Ruger, Terrace. Uh, this is supposed to fit a Canic. It's not saying on here. Huh. That might be a little upsetting. I might have to switch my YouTube guns. Let's find out, shall we? Damn. Oh, hey, it fit. Haha, <laughs> it fits the mechanics too. I won't have to be switching my YouTube guns. That's a bit of an issue. What is... Oh, that's the whole piece, right? Okay. So, as you can see here, this is what it looks like. So, this is just the outside the waistbands for if you open carry. Adjustable, this is slightly canted. I will be fixing that. Fits my canic decently, but I mean, yeah, that definitely works. By the way, this is unloaded. So the holster itself works quite well. And again, Kydex, Kydex is king. You gotta love Kydex. Next up is part two. This is, so again, it comes with a very nice box. Gunflower, violent peaceful, drop leg platform, blah, blah, blah. One-stop manufacturer, polymer, kydex leather, nylon material, producing gun holsters, tactical weapon lights, optics, police duty gear, duty belt, badge holders, wallets, and other tactical products. 
it uh, says it again in Spanish. Um, actually, these aren't American made. Huh. Okay. So here is the drop link holster. So it comes like this. Uh, let's see. Ah. Come on. There we go. Okay. That is on there. Okay, so. This piece goes, it looks like this goes onto your belt. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. So this will go onto the belt itself, which hooks down. You have to adjust for this which I don't feel like doing right now, so I'll probably do that a little bit later. And then you unscrew this part and it will attach to here. Okay, good to know. So, I mean, that, kind of, that fits my leg. I mean, oh, a, a good thing about this particular setup is it's supposed to be able to withhold it said up to four attachments. So you could put the main holster here. In the vi in the uh, photos, you had a double mag pouch here. And I mean, you could put something else small on this side. I won't be doing that because it's gonna be a lot of weight on my leg, which is gonna be counterproductive, but still. So all in all, this looks quite interesting. So I guess let's see it put together. Yeah, let's see what it looks like put together. Okay, so I got it put together. It took me a little longer than it should have. It took me about eight minutes, but realistically speaking, it should really probably only take you about four. So, yeah. Um, honestly, I like that this fits together. It's a little large, but it hugs my legs nicely, and it's actually comfortable with these straps. Very stretchy and very, very comfortable. So, um, this piece that was in the plastic bag is to adjust this, is to adjust the main holster itself to fit the larger size pistols. I don't need to worry about that because, you know, can it, Glock, whatever. Um, yeah, so I like it and I, I was struck. I'll admit, I was, the reason I got this, other than the next level up on the uh, battle gear that doesn't suck, I don't think I would have been able to get over that mental barrier for the Tacticon leg host. It was per It worked really well. It was great. Fit my weapon light, but this unfortunately doesn't. But the fact that it wasn't like hard, like it wasn't a Kydex or anything like that, it was just really bothering me. So this is gonna go on my budget battle gear soon. Uh, I'll be doing more reviews and testing with this soon, but for right now, first review, I will admit I actually really do like this. And again, this is the gun. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but the gun and flower uh, drop leg holster and outside the waistband holster. So more reviews coming soon. In the meantime, like, comment, subscribe. This is 220 Prepper, and I am signing off.